Hello, I'm I'm Brian. My call sign is N4BAF, November 4 Bravo Alpha Foxtrot. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm using SDR Uno uh, software with my ICOM 7300 using the uh, PTRX pan adapter board inside the radio to uh, run CW. I've seen a lot of videos on, on YouTube and a lot of people are doing it uh, different ways, but I'm just going to show you uh, what I'm doing and how, how I have everything set up. So I'm walking through some of the menus on this on this menu right on this first one main uh, settings uh, really didn't do anything everything's pretty much the same um, I didn't I didn't change everything anything on this uh, main settings when you come over here to the um, this menu right here you you just when you go to your settings uh, you want to make sure that your line your output is to your virtual audio cable line one is what I'm using and I had it on my I have it on my on my uh, on my software for the virtual audio cable when I set it up you know I, when I said I only set up one cable um, and they both set to 192 um, and these are this is just my settings, and I, and I have mic checked. And you need to make sure, like per MS per incident, you that's below uh, five. It didn't when it was at five, I kept getting errors. So set it at three, it works okay. So and you just, you can just look at my settings, you know, and see what my settings are, you know, and it just match those up to how mine set up. But when you go to the uh, system settings, you will notice that. Um, I have that virtual line one audio cable. It must, I'm not sure how how this happened, but I, I had to create this this cable at one time, and it, it was actually disabled. And I had to go ahead and just go right here and just pretty much just click on it. And um, and right here it, it was uh, it, it said don't don't use. I I actually clicked on it to use. So th it, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm not sure why it's not showing up in here. But this is it's working for me right now, so um, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Okay, so one other thing you have to look at, and these and when this receive settings, you got the. You're not going to use your cat. Right here. So for the radio to follow the the uh, SDR play, you know, and, and for them to sync together that way. So if I change, if I go on my radio and I move it, you can see the frequency moving. So the same thing happens if I'm using the software. If I just come up to the software, and if I change using the software, you see the radio is also moving. So you want to have these two uh, checked, and then for the uh, sync receive mode, you want to have that checked. That way, you know if it's CW on your radio, it's going to show CW here, or vice versa. You know if you you click FM mode or CW, it's going to change the radio to that mode also. And and the, and for the CW skimmer, you want to make sure it's in. The, you gonna want to make sure it's IQ out at 192k. This this is just my saying. This this is what this is what works for me. So um, when I, when I bring over my my uh, my skimmer, you can see that everything's pretty much the same. This is my radio down at the bottom. That's what. The 7300 is showing up for the frequency. Uh, for the CW skimmer, it's showing that frequency, and for the SDR Uno, it's showing. So everything matches up. Like this guy right here, if I just click on this call sign, everything changes. Uh, you can hear. You can hear CW. You can decode it down at the bottom. Uh, one of the things I had to do is like 
when you set up your when you set all this up you have to set up your arm and rig so for like this right here it's using 7300 first of all for the CW skimmer settings you know you want to use soft rock IF I seen another video somebody said you gotta use only soft rock but it doesn't work for me I use soft rock IF my audio is my virtue audio uh, cable that I created when I created it right here it's, the, it's that mic and you can see down here at the bottom of this working as a signal but so I use that for my out and if you want to hear you know listen to your signal on your like your external speaker and you like just connect to your computer you just whatever you use just just use that uh, if you want to just listen to it without listening to it uh, through the radio and then for, for my for my cat control when I set up the um, Omni rig uh, these are my settings. This will work for me. I tried to use a 19200 that was in the radio. It didn't work. This is my com port for the radio. When I, was, when I said the 9600, it worked perfect. So I got it set for 9600, 891. When, when I had this set for a high, it didn't work. Uh, so I set both of these are low, and, and these are my settings. I mean, I mean like I say, for you, it might, you know, for somebody else, if they figure out another way to make it work, but these are the settings that I use, and these settings work for me. So, um, it's pretty much it, you know. I just, uh, if you you have a, another sc a screen over here that comes with the CW skimmer, and right now the band is not that, in that great shape, but you know, you can see, um, like this guy here just called CQ. If I click on him, it'll take me right to him. The radio chains down here at the bottom. Um, see, there you go again. Is he still, if he's still calling CQ, he might be working somebody. Um, but also the software change to that frequency he's on and the CW skimmer change. So, like this guy here, he's calling CQ. If I just, if I just click on this call sign here, it's going to take me down there. And then you can see him down here at the bottom. You know, and I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, it's just, um, I played around with this uh, for a while now, and and there's a lot of videos out there. I made this video so I can just have this video that way I can go back myself and see my settings because I had done this once before and, and I tried to f go back and look, and look at my settings and I couldn't, I forgot how I did it. So, this is just something for me, but you know, it's, it's a nice program and. I mean, it works great. Everything is synced together, and um, and I just hope this video was something that you can take a look at and just and set your settings up the same way I I got mine set up. And if you have any questions, right now it's, um, one of the problems I'm having it keeps jumping to like it, like right now it's, it's showing FM. And I, that's something I, ha I have to figure out why, and then it goes to CWR, and I can't I can't figure that out, you know. But once you go back to CW, you know everything works fine. But you always got to always go back and click the IQ out, you know, and then it, everything seems to be working fine again. But that's only when I just move stuff around. If you like make any changes, that IQ out always goes away, you know, and you just got to click on the IQ out. But that's it, you know. If you have any questions, you know, post them in the in the, at the bottom, and uh, I, I will answer any questions and try to help you out any way I can. Seventy-three. This is N four B A F.